Welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, you guys! We officially have an infant that can sit up and scoot around. I don't know what it is, but the scoot animation kind of terrifies me. Like, I feel like it's just like a little gremlin. <laughs> little gremlin moving around but anyways guys welcome back to the super sim challenge this is episode four are we already on episode four? Oh no she's gonna start going and playing in the dirty diapers we need to um fix this also i believe willow here our super sim is uh oh she's not gonna dig in the dirty diaper trash can that's good she is hungry and we should take care of this as quickly as possible. I do want to have her try all the foods. Oh, it looks like mom is asleep. Dad's asleep too, but he's fully uh, energized up. So that is good. Let's go ahead and have him help Willow explore some foods. So she dislikes yogurt, but she likes applesauce. Let's try some oatmeal cereal. Let's see if she likes oatmeal. Do you guys like oatmeal? I used to hate it like absolutely hate it thought it was the grossest thing in the world and then once I learned how to start putting stuff inside of it like apples and cinnamon and honey and all kinds of things like that I actually started liking oatmeal um but plain oatmeal is not really my jam so I'm, I'm curious if you guys are the same way but anyways we are on a mission to try all the foods with willow uh, it is kind of like a little side quest of the super sim challenge that I would like to do so we're gonna try the oatmeal first and then if we could knock off two every time she's hungry i think we could get through this pretty quickly so miss willow oatmeal what are you thinking the oatmeal plane is coming in for landing and she is unsure about it i think oh no willow dislikes oatmeal probably best to try something else next time oh she's like let's go let's go <laughs> that is so cute so I think we have to wait until she's done to feed her one more time. So we'll try something else. I had my eyes set on those mangoes. So maybe if we try some mangoes, she might actually like that. Definitely hesitant to eat the oatmeal. Oh no, she's angry. Betrayed. Yucky, Willow didn't like the food at all. The betrayal. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's go help Willow explore some more foods. Let's try mangoes, like I said. Hopefully this is something that she'll actually like. And this should get her hunger bar totally up. And then it looks like her bladder needs will be uh, needing to be taken care of. No, don't take her out. Put her back in. No, just, just hugs. Hugs are always good, though. I'm not going to complain about that. Also, it is neighborhood brawl. Willow can't partake in this. So honestly, probably we aren't going to worry about this today. All right, we're going in to try mangoes. I like how the the little um, food in the container changes or whatever it is. I think that's actually really cool. So he's going to cook, acquire the fitness skill for Wilhelmina. How exciting. Willow loved mashed mangoes. It's always nice to discover a new favorite taste and texture. That is pretty amazing. I'm glad that she likes it. She is like going in on it. I think the next thing we're going to do is probably have Wilhelmina eat and then we will have her hang out with Willow. We need to go back over to the family member's house. Um, in fact, let's let me show you guys the progress on the tracker really quickly. Let me pop this up for you guys. So this is our tracker and we've gotten quite a lot knocked off. We're pretty much 50% on everything except for fine motor. So we need to have her doing this. And I think uh, for fine motor, we need to do the her like have her play with her toys on the little mat is how I think that works. So Wilhelmina, oh, let me put the tracker away. I'm going to need you to put Willow here. And we're gonna just get cranking on that. We also need to go on a vacation, which I think is what we're gonna do in today's episode. That'd be super exciting. And then potentially go over to the in-laws house or the grandparents house and go hang out there for a bit and see if we can knock off that achievement. So we're gonna do play with toys. I think if we do this a couple times, this should give her those fine motors that we're looking for. So it is a hot Saturday afternoon, and I think it's 
it's time for the family to go on a vacation. So Wilhelmina's not doing anything. Let's have her take a vacation. I think we can, yeah, we can bring the whole family, which is great. And then potentially bring this in her inventory. So we'll take that with us. And then we might have to, once we get there, kind of set up a little area for the infant section because I don't think there's going to be any infant stuff around. So we can go to Batu or Salvadorada, but I think I want to go to Granite Falls because not going to lie to you guys, ever since I got this pack, I haven't even played in it. <laughs> so I, uh, and I got it a while ago. I think this was one of my very first packs that I got. So we have a campground or we could kind of stay in a house so we could stay in this one we'd stay in this one um i'm not quite sure there's more of these luxury kind of bigger ones we only have two thousand dollars though so i feel like we don't want to go too too high end these are eight hundred dollars five hundred dollars that's crazy um let's see let's go with this red one i think this is a uh, pretty cute looking how do we feel about this yeah and then let's stay two days. $400, not too bad. The family gets to get away for a little bit. I am happy with it. And of course, this is getting us one step closer to becoming a toddler in the Super Sim Challenge because this should knock off the go on a vacation or first visit on a vacation or <laughs> something like that for Willow. There it is. First vacation milestone unlocked. Vacation mode on. Willow is excited for her first vacation with the family. All the time to relax and have fun. What could be better? Exactly. Granite Falls is beautiful i don't know why i don't visit this world more often because it is amazing now super super quickly we do need to get some of the uh infant things for this uh place and i might go ahead and spruce this up a bit there needs to be one more little sitting area out here uh so i'm going to i'm not gonna cheat throughout this series unless it is adding things that we actually need um so we're gonna go Maybe dot enable free build. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna pop in. You guys are seeing this on camera. I'm not cheating on anything else. We are going to pop in a crib uh, because we need one for. Well, I guess we could put down the little baby thing, like the baby play map. But we can also take the, or we could put down the little baby this one, the traveling baby thing so i think this would be good let's do red because this seems to be the theme of this place uh so where are we gonna put this i guess we can kind of move some things around i'm gonna do one more uh bb bb dot move objects because it just is necessary <laughs> uh we're gonna put the baby bed there and then we can kind of shimmy this in there and hopefully that doesn't cause any issues but yeah i think that's pretty much everything that we need we can take out the other little toddler thing the other little infant thing later also that's driving me crazy that that's like not Ugh. i don't like that <laughs> hold on go back i just don't like that that rug is orange i don't know why it just doesn't the whole vibe of the place is red and and it's orange it just is weird to me and then also this being green kind of makes me feel weird about myself so we're gonna make this red i don't know i'm making unnecessary changes but it's fine <laughs> oh also one other thing i'm gonna do is i am going to get another one of these maybe even two just because it makes sense okay okay just because you wouldn't just have one there where are the high chairs the high chairs i said that so so properly where are the high chairs uh i actually have no idea this is very interesting, but they be under... I honestly find that sometimes things are... Ooh, vacation rental. There's like a whole thing for this? It's kind of cool. Life of a fish? <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. I'm getting a little carried away. Excellent. We have a high chair so we can continue to 
uh, do the foods with Willow and unlocking those and see which one she likes. So we're officially on vacation and I do want to spend time on vacation with the family. It is also possible for Willow to unlock some things while we're here on vacation. So that's going to be fun. That is going to be super fun. So let's put the little play mat there so that she can still unlock things. Let's go ahead and put Willow down so we can have her practice some stuff. Not where I meant to put her down. Oh, she's being attacked by mosquitoes. That's actually, that was a lot of mosquitoes. It's kind of gross. Practice standing. Well, that's, that's always good. That could be something that we definitely need to unlock. I will say today the progress has been super, super slow on the challenge. Oh, is this the ranger? Do we get to go talk to the ranger? Oh, she's trying to learn how to turn over and stuff. All right, well, we will have you go and say hello to the ranger. Hello, friends. I'm Tommy, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge. So if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. We will definitely ask. Looks like they're having a good old conversation over here. What is going down? Uh, missing being held. Oh, no. Okay, so let's go practice crawling. This could be good. Once we get her crawling, she'll be on the move. She can kind of start doing things on her own, which would be fun. All right. Can you crawl to Wilhelmina? Oh, this is exciting. Let's get the inside scoop on this. She's just going to give up. <laughs> That's okay. It's hard for a little one. Are they playing games? Play cards with Wilhelmina, but you can't play with the ranger? That's interesting. Um. Oh, oh, oh! She pulled herself up. That was so close. Maybe we'll do some practice standing. I don't know. I don't know. We're just doing random things. I wanted her to put her here, but my Sims are not listening to me, which is a very common and normal thing. I love this interaction too. There she goes. Oh, it's a very short interaction, but nonetheless, it is super stinking cute probably should have added more lights to this room too because it is super super dark in here hopefully you guys can kind of see what's going on but we are gonna have willow play with her toys ah oh, she's always so tired and it just makes me so sad put her down we have work to do Oh, she's putting her in the crib all right well i guess that can be a thing we'll have willow go to sleep do you wish you looked as happy as I do? Well, you have the power. Just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a simoleon away. Do we donate one simoleon to Bess? Hmm. I've been watching a lot of Sim Supply, of course, because he inspired this challenge. And he gives his money to Bess like crazy. And I've heard that she can kind of bring it back. She'll give it back to you eventually. So you know what? We're going to donate to Bess. Thanks for your contribution. Huh? Do you feel happier yet? Mm, no, we feel very focused. Did he just make that? Because that was really impressive if he did. I've never done this in real life. I've always wanted to try it. I love little games like this. It seems very fun. So finally, Willow is awake and we got to take care of her needs. She's good on her energy, but her bladder and her hunger is is low so once we get a bottle feed in we should be able to make some progress today it is like three in the morning in game so we're getting a very early morning on her her milestones here her super sim progress but hopefully it goes well so we're gonna do some talking to willow and see if this will get up some of those some of those milestones uh involving social there's a couple more that i think we need to get done but my sims they really are acting so strange. I can't get them to do anything and, and they keep grabbing Willow when I want to do things with Willow and it's just, ah, oh, it's frustrating, but it's going to be okay. See, I, I didn't, I didn't tell her to do that. I told them to talk and Bro, just Sierga. nothing. Oh, they just never do what I tell them to do. Talk to Willow, play peekaboo, all the above, please and thank you. This game is so weird. I don't understand it. Can we just put Willow? Just put her in the thing, please. 
Okay, they're playing peekaboo, which is good progress because this is actually some social interactions. So it's good. We're finally getting somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's have her play with her toys. Talk to Will. Babble, I guess. Babble with Will. Play with her toys. Do that a couple times. And then hopefully we will knock off a milestone. It's been so long since we got one aside from coming to the vacation, which was very much forced because of me. No, oh, she's reaching a milestone. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes. I love when it tells me that she's... Yes! Pincher Grasp! Little fingers can be hard to use, but for the first time, Willow managed to take hold of her first object. Willow can also eat finger foods in the high chair and squeeze toys. Very cool. Okay. Willow is doing a little bit of tummy time on her own, which is kind of cool. She's a very independent, ambitious sim, so I think that she would be able to, to do these things and kind of think for herself to practice these things, even from a young age of being an infant. Oh, there she goes. Oh my gosh. She like got all the way up onto her knees. She's gonna be able to start crawling soon for sure. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, she is killing it. It'd be so cool if we could get a milestone right now for crawling. That'd be amazing. I feel like Willow actually tends to kind of do better when her parents aren't there. <laughs> is that bad? I know that she needs them, but I feel like she's such an independent kind of sim and wants to just like accomplish everything and do everything sort of on her own that sometimes when the parents get involved and they're they're trying to hold her and trying to move her around, it just becomes chaos. <laughs> All right, she is tired, so we are going to have her go night night after that. Uh, and while she is doing tummy time, doing night night time, I am going to update our tracker really quickly because we have two things to check off. We have learned the pincher grasp, so we only have three more of these. We're 50% done with fine motor, and then we got the first vacation as well. So first finger food, that will be easy to do. First trip to the park, we already did that and I forgot to check it off. I'm so glad. Because we're way closer to being done with this than I thought. We're not going to do the surviving seven nights because it is um, just not... It's something we can do later as an adult. So we'll probably do it as an adult. And then, yeah, these ones... Okay, only three here, three here, four here for social. So we should get bump it on social and then try the first finger food too. Okay, we are... We're set on a plan and I like it. So I'm going to let Willow sleep, and then what we're going to do is we are going to come back once we can. Oh, there's a bear out here. Why is there a bear? Oh my gosh. Stress about lost time. It's on the bear? Sure. Why not? Anyways, I'll come back with you guys once Willow's awake. I will say it is kind of sad that because Willow's an infant, she can't really do much here in Granite Falls. It's, it's really interesting to me that the... The vacation milestone is for infants. Um, because I, I feel like it should be for any age. Unless I'm mistaking it, I could have sworn when I was going through the tracker and writing everything down, the vacation milestone was only for infants. In fact, let me try this out with you guys. Let's do a little testing. I know this is kind of random and weird, but... So, infants. Okay, so this is the one I'm talking about. Uh, first vacation. If we check this off... Um, we move to toddler and do infants is first vacation on here. It should show because we've already done it. See, you can't get it as a toddler. You can not get it as a child. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't know. Nope, but you can get the survive seven nights in a haunted house, but you can't. Take a vacation, your first vacation as a child or a teen or an adult. I don't know. It just seems really weird to me that that is a infant specific milestone. Like why infant first vacation? I don't know. Because many adults go on their first vacation being an adult. So I don't know. It's like, why, why is that a thing? I don't know. I love that um, these two are just flirting it up right now. <laughs> Let me move this. Um, but I just wanted to check this because, again, this is so bizarre. Look how much we have to do, by the way, guys. This is just the adult section. 
this is all we have to accomplish. It is going to be wild. But yeah, the milestones, like, you can't go on a vacation. You have to do it as an infant. And I just think that that is, like, the weirdest thing. Okay, Willow is super hungry. Let's wake her up. I think this would be a great time to try finger foods for the first time. So give finger foods to Willow. This is one of our milestones. Of course, we want to try all of these. So let's do peanut butter puffs. Those sound delicious. Are these like the Reese's peanut butter puff cereal? Should I not be, <laughs> should I not be brand dropping? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, vacation's ending. There's one day left on the vacation to extend the trip. Choose extend vacation. No, I think yeah, I think we're yeah. pretty good on on having her go home, having the whole family go home. But there it is. Hmm, Will is unsure about peanut butter puffs. Maybe this food will need to be explored more. There she goes. Oh, look at her. Oh, he seems so excited at her trying peanut butter puffs. Look at her face. She's so unsure. That's so I love it. Vacation peanut butter puffs. This is her hitting a milestone right here. Yeah! There she goes. She's like so excited. She's like, hee hee. First finger food milestone unlocked. Yummy. Willow tried finger foods for the first time. What an expanded, um, what an expanded palette for an infant. Use the high chair to try them all. We definitely will. Oh, this moodlet is so cute. My pride and joy. What a milestone. Will, can be Will can't believe how much... How much his little one has accomplished in such a little time. Oh, if that isn't, like, Willow's entire story, then, then I don't know what is. That's just amazing. They're going to be heading home soon, which I am pretty excited about. As beautiful as Granite Falls is, and we will definitely be coming back here once Willow is an adult. Because there's, I think, a whole bunch of... Uh, I think there's at least an aspiration that we have to complete here, possibly. And there's, like, the whole herbalism skill, I think, that comes with this. And, like, it'd be really fun to go camping with her family. Like, actually camping when she has her own kids and things like that. So... We're definitely going to be coming back here in the future. Mom and Willow have been sitting on the couch, <laughs> blowing raspberries, and talking for quite a while. I've been kind of doing all the social interactions, playing peekaboo, and talking, um, just trying to get those social, those social milestones to tick off. I feel like the more we do these, the more frequently it will happen, but I'm not sure. Like maybe you have to hit a certain a amount tour. before they get the milestone. I'm actually not even sure how that works. So it looks like we might not get the get the social milestone. That's okay. Hoping it will just happen in time. But well, it does need to go to sleep. So it's just back to sleepy time. Now we can't buy any of the reward traits yet, so I can't do the savant or the hardly tired, hardly sleepy, hardly tired, hardly hungry, whatever it may be. Uh, those traits, which would be really nice, but I we can't do that right now. So we're just gonna have to play the long game and wait out her sleeping and do the whole eating stuff. Like it, it's gonna be a process here at the beginning. Oh man, we just got our first round of bills. They're one thousand two hundred and twenty-five. Oh no, one of the adults is gonna need to get a job soon because we have no money. That is not great. That really is not great. And we have a stinky child. Okay, I think it's probably time for us to head home. This vacation was kind of a disaster. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> yep, time to go home from this vacation horror story that uh, didn't really end up getting us much. All right, we got back and it is super, super rainy. Don't put the child down on the ground. Holy moly, why? It's like thunderstorming up. Bring her inside. Please, 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 please. I don't know why they do that. Like, why can't they just go inside? I don't know. They they do a lot of other things autonomously. Why can't they just go inside? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to complain too much about this game. I love this game with my whole heart and soul. But sometimes it just doesn't make sense. And I'm like, what is going on here? Anyways, we need to give Willow a bubble bath. Hopefully this will put her in a good mood. She's rested up. She's feeling hungry so we could knock off a couple more of the foods, which would be awesome. And of course, the milestones. I mean, come on. So time to give her a nice little bath. 
and then we're gonna come over and we are going to help her explore some more foods. Let's start from the top and work our way down. Moving on over to the high chair, we're gonna try some avocado. Beautiful, hopefully she likes it. Yes, how exciting, Willow loves smashed avocado. It's always nice to discover a new favorite taste and texture. Can we try another one here? I don't wanna go too quickly, but I would love to explore some more food. So she loves avocado. Let's try papaya and see if she's liking the papaya paste. I have never had papaya paste in my life and I don't think I've ever had papaya in my life which is kind of crazy I feel like that's something I need to try right see what's happening we got a milestone she learned to blow raspberries oh that was so cute we did it so some of these things just happen super randomly I genuinely don't know what just triggered that but I guess that works I mean hey we did it I'll take it all right, here we go with the papaya. What's she thinking about the papaya? Looks like hmm, Willow is unsure about, about papaya paste. Maybe this food will need exploring again. Okay, we could always do that. So she's doing good. Energy has been our biggest, like, our biggest struggle with this challenge. So really quickly too, I just want to try to go over to the relative's house and i want to go see if we can check off that milestone that we tried a couple episodes ago where you go and visit a family family member's house excuse me and i really want to get that ticked off i don't know why it didn't work last time because i've had it work before so i don't know seems a bit weird but hopefully 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 this will work so if we go over to the grandparents house this should be a thing there it is. Okay, let's go knock on the door. Let's go inside. Pick her up, please. Please bring her inside. The grandparents' house and please check off this milestone for Willow. Yeah, that's her grandmother. And that's her grandfather. So, when she goes over to their house, it should check off that this is their house. But for some reason, it just doesn't. Which makes me so sad. We got the clap milestone though. Wasn't the milestone I was looking for, but it works, I guess. Again, these milestones are so random. I'm not really sure what triggers them half the time. If we need to be doing an action. I know that some of them are situational. So if you go over to someone's house, um, then that's how you can do it or, or something like that. Or going to the park for the first time. They're situational. Um, and that'll trigger it, but like these ones, like clapping, raspberries, it seems a bit random. <laughs> what is going on with him? <laughs> She's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's just a little thunderstorm, no need to worry. Let's super quickly update the tracker. So I did uh, check off one of these. So we got first vacation, which was the other one? Oh, first finger foods. Um, I clicked this one, so we're good there. So this one should be checked off um but it's not so that makes me sad i don't know how we're gonna figure that one out um but let's see here we also learned was a it was blow raspberries yeah 62 percent and clap so that one's at 66 percent so crawl dance and stand we only have two more of these fine motors left i think i can do it guys in this episode i think we got this because in the next episode, I would love for it to be her birthday. That would be fun. Just so we have like four episodes spent on infant. Um, if we have to pull out one more episode, I am totally cool with doing that too. Uh, but just because it would be nice uh, to kind of move on to the next step of the challenge. I wouldn't mind doing that too. Although it is, I want this to be an authentic series where I show you guys like how much time it actually takes and if it takes five episodes to get through the um toddler milestones or the infant milestones then that's just how it goes you know um and i i just want to brief you guys on like how long i spend on each of these episodes usually i spend about an hour 
um, I would say. So it takes, it's so far, it's taken about an hour to an hour and a half on each episode. This one has been more along the lines of like, I think I've just hit an hour and a half. So I'm probably going to end up going two hours. So yeah, it definitely takes time to get through all of these, but it only takes a few hours. Um, and I think if you're playing, I've read somewhere that if you're playing on a shorter lifespan, the milestones go faster. So because we're playing on long lifespan, um, it's kind of taking a little bit longer, which is fine by me. Just for consistency sake, I'm going to keep it on long lifespan so we can keep it on long, long lifespan the entire game throughout the entire series. But yeah, Bess is calling. Let's answer. Hey, hey, champ. So get this. I have a cool business idea. This is going to be a big one, but I, uh, I just need a few more simoleons to get it off the ground. Like a thousand simoleons. Do you think you could help a bud out, a buddy out? You'll get it all back and then some, I swear. So the thing is, we don't have enough. We do. We have a thousand five hundred, but we need to pay our bills. So sorry, I can't afford that right now. Aw, but how else are my dreams supposed to come true? Thanks anyways, I guess. Sorry, Bess. Maybe one day we can help. So, I mean, to be honest with you guys, the reason we came here was to try to check off the milestone. And that looks like that is not happening. Um, What I might do is maybe move the grandparents into a different house and try to see if maybe it's the house that's bugging out or it's the lot or something and we'll give it another my mic's just floated up <laughs> we'll give it another go at a different location i have no idea this game is so buggy sometimes it gets crazy he just spent like 50 dollars on food just to put it on the floor <laughs> Ah. <laughs> okay well anyway uh we do need to go pay the bills uh really quickly so we're gonna pay those and then i'm gonna try to no spend more money don't don't you dare put that on the ground sir oh my gosh this game is gonna drive me crazy why can't you prepare this hamburger here are you trying to grill but you can't is that what's going on I put this all back in the fridge. Oh my god, we have so much wasted food. It makes me so sad. Maybe we'll just have him slowly prepare all of them. That could be good. Also, we have $200, which is not great. I think we're going to have Wilhelmina find a job. Or potentially, because I technically don't really want to start any of the careers with other sims that aren't uh, Willow. What we could maybe do is get her some gardening pots and have her grow plants and then we can sell the plants for money is sort of what i'm thinking yeah that sounds like a pretty good option for making money it won't make us the most money or anything but it'll definitely get us a start so we could do flowers we could do fruits herbs vegetables let's start off with a pack of vegetables we'll put that there and then how many of these okay these are 50 dollars. so we might be able to do three of those we only have 34 dollars left plants better make us some money <laughs> that's for sure all right let's open the seed packets oh nice okay are these is this a potato oh taro nice okay uh and then bell peppers let's just plant all the bell peppers what season are these though okay summer so they are in season for how long though not very much longer but that's okay that's fine we can uproot them and replant later. She loves gardening, so I feel like this will make her happy, too. Uh, so yeah, this will be good. This will be good for the family. A way to make money. There we go. All right, excellent. We're going to go give her some mashed peas. See if she likes these. She likes some mashed peas. Successful taste testing. And then next, let's try some carrots. So far, so good on the food, so Willow is unsure about carrots, though, which is totally fine. Now, hopefully her needs are going up. Yep, her hunger is going up, which is super, super good. We're getting a milestone! What milestone is it going to be? I just had her do tummy time. Peekaboo! <laughs> that was so cute! We got the peekaboo milestone. Oh, look at her scooting around. Let's do some tummy time together. Oh, I love that. 
That is, that was so adorable. I'm so glad we caught that one. I was like, oh, she was doing tummy time and then she just stopped. And I was like, oh, it must be a milestone happening. Let's go. Oh, if we could get her to crawl, that would be so amazing. Come on, Willow, you can do it. Come on, Willow. I'm like her personal cheerleader. Let's see if we can check off some milestones here. She is so grumpy. So she learned peekaboo. I think that was the only other one. It would be great to get crawl. But holy cow, we are so close. 75%, 66%, 62%. We're in the home stretch. We can do this. She's like spinning around. It looks like she's about to crawl. But I don't think she will. I don't know. She's also, again, really hungry and really tired. So it's probably gonna take us another day to get the crawl milestone. But you guys, I think that's gonna have to do it for this episode. This one's getting incredibly long. Oh my gosh. Is she gonna learn to crawl right now? That would be the most epic way to finish off this episode. We'll wait until this tummy time's over. But I'm gonna start outroing now. But you guys are gonna have to hang tight to see if she actually gets it. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Super Sam Challenge. In the next one, Willow should definitely be crawling around. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna take care of her needs in between episodes. There's only a few more things for us to do let's pull up the tracker one last time i know we just saw it but this is it guys this is it we literally only have two more well technically one more which we've technically done twice now so i don't know why it's checking off but i'll try to figure out how to get that checked off and then we have two more socials two more fine motor and three gross motors so next episode i think we got this i was gonna try to finish it all in today's but uh it's it's a lot it's a lot so i think we're gonna have five episodes on infant which is totally fine that's the process of doing this challenge it takes sometimes longer than you think it will which is totally fine that is the fun in it well, you guys are awesome. I hope you have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Don't forget to head down below, hit the subscribe button. So you never miss a Super Sim video or other videos uploaded to my channel. And I will catch you in the next Super Sim video where hopefully we'll have a crawler on our hands. That would be awesome. You guys are amazing. I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.